Hello everyone, welcome back to AJ Storytime channel for kids. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to listen to Storytime Live every day from Monday to Friday, they are at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. on my channel, Ana y un poco más de cupones. Welcome to our art and craft. Today we are celebrating President's Day. Yes! Um, if you were able to listen to the first story that I have like this morning, it was about George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. If you haven't seen that video, I invite you to go visit Ana y un poco más de cupones in AJ Storytime channel for kids. So you can listen to that wonderful two stories about our president, our first president, and also Abraham Lincoln. And now we have a really nice art and craft and very, very easy about President's Day. And what describes the United States better? Do you know? Our American flag. So today we are going to do our American flag. And all you need is a piece of paper, white, a black market, and also three crayons, blue, Red and white, red, white and blue, red, white and blue. This is great, our American flag. So if you are ready, let's get started. First thing I just want to say is that the 13 lines that the flag has describe the first 13 colonies. Before we have states like Connecticut, Bronx, New Jersey, we have what we call the first 13 colonies, those were like the first 13 states. If you know them, I hope that you can share that with your mommy or your daddy. I would love to know if you know the names of the first 13 colonies. So we have to do 13 lines because they describe the 13 colonies, the first 13 colonies that the United States have. Now we have 50 states and we have also two more states that is Puerto Rico and Hawaii. So that's the reason why the American flag has 50 stars for 50 states and 13 lines for the first 13 colonies. Great job. So we're going to do our first 13 colonies. So one, two, three, four, five. Six down here, we're going to seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And 13 and now we have our 13 colonies first thing we are going to do is color our square which is where the stars will go right remember that this part of our American flag is blue our American flag has three colors red white and blue you need to learn that okay red white and blue and the 13 lines are for the first 13 colonies that the United States have way before if we read our history you'll see that first we have only 13 colonies 13 states where people live okay they didn't have created or discovered the other states yet so the first one were the first 13 colonies This is very easy. Mommy and daddy can do it with you if you don't know how to use the crayons yet. I wanted to give you something very easy that you can do. Also, you can use this art and craft for Independence Day, right? Because this is the American flag. The American flag is used during Independence Day and during President's Day, Memorial Day, anything that deals with the history of the United States. Good job. So we did this color and you can always use the white crayon to do like the stars. Here we will not see it clearly in the camera, but you can also just use maybe the black marker and then you can just make 50 states. We are not going to make that many, but we could try just putting a few so I can see how my flag will look. Okay. 
any flags that you create will be beautiful because you are creating it and you are special to your family and to everyone that loves you. So any flag that you create, whatever colors you use, is your flag, is your creation. And I know that you're going to do a great job. Now that we use that, we are going to use our red color. And remember, there is 13 colonies. But not all of them are color, right? So we're going to use the red and we're going to skip a line. First one. Then we skip one and we go into the third line. And what we do next, do you know? Do you say to skip? Great job. And that's how you're going to do your American flag, okay? You color one line, you skip the other one, and you keep coloring until your flag is ready. You can place this flag on your refrigerator, outside your home. If you want, you can write a letter to the American troopers that are fighting for our country. If you know a soldier that lives in your neighborhood, you can just do this flag and write thank you for your service and give it to them. Or maybe you can give it to the doctors or nurses that are working in the hospital right now, helping so many people that are sick. Anybody that you think of that is special to you, this will mean a lot for them. And this is so easy. This is our American flag. I hope you enjoy this very, very easy art and craft. This is how you make the American flag. Give it to somebody that you love and tell them how much you care and how thankful you are. Do not forget to subscribe to AJ Storytime channel. Forget to eat, Anna, y un poco más de cupones. Goodbye.